Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. John Belkowitz. I'm from Intelligent Concrete, where we specialize in making concrete do the impossible. So um, today what we're going to be talking about is our new project that we've got going outside for the studio, which is a glow-in-the-dark section for our countertop. What we're doing is we're making a countertop and we're trying to show folks what we can do with concrete, the fun things that can be done. One of them is using you know, this optical fiber concept where we've got our logo, lights will be passing through, but it's going to be in a glow-in-the-dark concrete portion. Hey, baby. Hey. Uh, glow-in-the-dark concrete portion, so after the optical fibers or after the light source is shut off, the concrete will still glow where our logo is. So uh, to do that, we need a few things. It needs to be a very fluid mix. I would almost say a fluid grout. Um, a lot of fines in there. It's got to go around all these fibers. Right? Uh, and then we've got to also reduce the tendency for shrinkage, which also gets back to cracking. And this is what the mold is going to look like. And we're basically going to do a practice round today. So we're using the same mix from our high-end glow grout. A lot of Portland cement, uh, this soda lime boric silicate, hi baby, uh, a, a expanded um, lightweight aggregate, our favorite high range water reducer Optima wow. 258, a little bit of colloidal silica to hold it together, the glow products, you know the proprietary glow bond. It's as high end. It is high end, so that's why it's proprietary. And then we're also putting a defomer, but we're taking out the... Um, the accelerator, right. the non chloride accelerator. The, the former we weigh up at the end. We're, we're going to take out the accelerator because, I mean, normally we get our, our strengths within a day, which is great, which we love with the accelerator, but it can also lead to high volume change, shrinkage, and cracking. Sure. So we're taking that out, and in its place, we put a Juno XP, which is an alternative supplementary cementitious material, which reduces shrinkage and also the tendency for cracking. Still going to give us the fluidity that we want. Right. Not going to give us that strength gain, but we don't want that right. here. The other thing that we're going to be doing is the mold that we're putting it in. Uh, we're going to clean it out, oil it up a little bit, so there is no restraint. And when you take restraint out of the equation, you don't have to worry about cracking as much. So yeah, this will be a major part of it. Um, this is only our practice run, so let's uh, get to it. Let's do some B-roll. Let's get to mix it. Okay, so we went into, ran into a real problem. We've got the fluidity that we wanted, but if you could see, despite the fact that we put a bunch of this defomer in there, we've got what looks like an overdosage of um, the high range water reducer, which is a real possibility. We can't, I don't really feel any segregation, but that air that we see, that's a, that's a little bit too intense. So. What we could do is we can actually allow that to happen and just finish off the surface and be okay with that, which you know is not a problem. But what we're gonna do is add a little bit more colloidal silica because normally when you see something like this, this, this amount of air bubbles, there's also a milky appearance to the surface, of course, because we're, we've got a white background, we can't really tell that. But normally that means that some segregation is gonna go on and we just kinda wanna kill that before it happens.
today we ran into a problem with the mix. We put in a, something to overcome cracking, crack compensating, a shrinkage reducing admixture, as well as an alternative supplementary cementitious material. Unfortunately, the combination with all the other chemicals, I mean, it is a cocktail, uh, caused a lot of air. Now, it seems like that air is out, but there's no flipping way we're recovering from that. So we're gonna be doing a second mix where we trial this out and we're gonna be playing with the kitchen sink as Whitney likes to call it um, to really get this mix that does all the magic that we need it to. Did I say all that? No, I think that was great. Right, so we'll get a, another video. Part two, stay tuned. Thanks for joining us today. Go Pound Tree. Beat Asphalt.